Hey, welcome to the first video in the electric circuits playlist. So in this video, we're just going to talk about electric charge and some of the terminology and units that we're going to be using with it so we can move on to other things like current and voltage, and then we can really start talking about circuits. So what charge is, is it's a physical property, much like mass or volume. So everything has mass or volume and everything also has a charge, but it's not as apparent to us as mass or volume because we don't really go around feeling like electrostatically shocked by things every time we touch them. Um, but the reason for that is because most things don't have a net charge, or in other words, their net charge is usually zero. For example, let's just draw a picture of an atom here. Um, let's draw lithium. So it generally has three protons, four neutrons, and three electrons. Now, this isn't a chemistry tutorial, but hopefully this is review. And if you do remember from chemistry that the scientific community did agree on calling the charge of electrons the negative charge and the charge on protons the positive charge, so the charge of a proton is assigned with the letter E, and the charge of an electron is assigned with a negative E. So that means when we look at our lithium here, we have three protons, each with a positive charge, and three electrons, each with a negative charge. So three positives and three negatives of the same thing gives us a net charge of zero. But if this atom was to lose one electron for some reason, then the atom would then have two electrons and three protons, so it would have a net charge of positive one E, as three minus two is just one. So when you look at the periodic table of elements, metals on the left-hand side of the table like to lose electrons, and things on the right side, like halogens, um, they like to gain electrons. So for example, if we had the element chlorine that normally has 17 protons and 17 electrons, it has a net charge of zero, but for some reason, if this was to gain one electron, then it would have 18 electrons, 17 protons, and it would have a net negative charge, you know, of negative one E. But this isn't chemistry course, so let's not go too deep into how ionic bonding works and all that, and let's just stick to the definition of what charge is. So one E, which is the charge of one proton, has a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, and coulombs are our standard unit for charge. So by taking the inverse of this number, we get one coulomb is equal to 6.24 times 10 to the 18 E. Or otherwise, that means that negative one coulomb is the amount of charge carried by just over six quintillion electrons. So that's a really big number, but uh, basically one coulomb is technically just equal to one amp second. And amps are a measurement of electric current, and we're going to be getting into that in the next video. But just before we move on, it's important to mention that similar charges repel each other and opposite charges attract. So if we have two point charges like this, and if they're both negative, then they're going to have the tendency to want to move away from each other. If they were both positive, they would still have that same tendency to want to move away from each other. But if we had one positive and one negative like this, then those would have the tendency to attract each other. So anyways, that's enough for a really quick and dirty intro to charge. And now that we know the units, we can talk about current, which is the flow of charge. And I'll be talking about that in the next video. So I will see you there.